Welcome back. Joining us now is Julianne Lee, an animal homeopath. Julianne, welcome. Thank you. It was quite moving and amazing in, in the profile we saw around Linda's incredible connection with Zeus. I, and she says that Zeus cured her of her cancer. That is really uh, a really powerful statement to make. How, how, how far can we take that in, in what she's saying? I think that in cancer and taking different approaches to cancer. We know cancer is basically incurable in many ways. It does go into remission. We're, we're searching constantly. Cancer is one of the biggest research um, things that we do. And I think that we're looking more and more on, with people, animals, on, on every level, of what actually does it mean to cure cancer. I think that at at our vet clinic, we see so many people having such strong bonds with animals that it's, it, it's actually mind-blowing. And because we're not a conventional clinic and what well, we do with surgeries and things, but we, we really look at the, an animal being part of the family. And there's really no um, separation between them. I think by saying that, that if, if, this, if she believes that this dog cured her cancer, I would actually have to say I would support that. I suspect a lot of people watching are agreeing with what you're saying, especially if they have an animal. If they don't mm -hmm. have an animal, maybe scratching heads a little <laughs> bit. But uh, moving north of 49, the presence of an animal in a house, how it affects um, a, a person's ability to be in the world. Can you just speak to that emotional component, which is maybe a little bit more, more tangible? Well, I think that when you look at what happens with animals and people, um, you walk down the road and there's a cute dog and someone says, oh my God, your dog's so cute, and you strike up a conversation, it makes, it, it makes the world, in my opinion, more personable. I, I wanted to get to one more question about how the role of an animal changes in a household where people are aging, where their children have, have left or about to leave and suddenly, or, or uh, two people have broken up, their marriage is done and, and one is, you know, you're left in an empty house with the cat or the dog or the budgie. Suddenly how an animal's role transforms and perhaps becomes much more profound accordingly. Can you speak to that? I can go one step farther than that. They come to whatever they need to do in every situation. So if it's a divorce and someone's devastated and they're left alone, that animal fills that void, it gets them out, it makes them go for walks, it makes them become part of society. Again, it forces them to get out of their house. Uh, it's something to sleep with, a warm body. I mean, the list goes on with that. There's some extraordinary things to think about here. Thank you, Julianne Lee. You're welcome. North of 49, a guide to the rest of your life.